Okay, this video is called Buridin's Ass and How to Lose Weight Fast. Okay, so Jean Buridin was a philosopher and he said if you had a donkey who was equally hungry and equally thirsty and you placed him in the center equal distance from water, from water and from hay, that the donkey would not be able to wake up its, make up its mind and it would starve to death. Okay, so this can be like a lot of people who want to diet because they think, you know, maybe going vegan would help, but they don't want to give up their processed food and they're not really sure it's going to work. And emotionally, from a taste point of view, they don't really want to do it in a social point of view. So they can't commit. They never make up their mind. They stay fat and sick for decades. And then they have an irreversible event like a, or irreversible event, like a stroke or heart attack. And then they just suffer in poor health the rest of their life. That's like a pretty typical average person. Okay, so the inability to commit because you want it both ways has also been described as analysis paralysis. To lose weight, one of the key cornerstones of all that is eat low caloric density. Uh, Chef AJ wrote an entire book about that, like unprocessed food, how to lose weight fast. And she'll say, for example, eat your veggies first. And the point of that is vegetables are very low caloric density, so they stretch your stomach. Stretching of the stomach provides early satisfaction of hunger. To provide lasting satisfaction of hunger, the best food is to eat starches. Starches are a polymer of glucose wrapped in fiber, which is basically you know, a lot of your plant foods. And that's the best way to satisfy your hunger long term. Another reason for this video is lots of people ask me, can you just tell me how to lose weight? Just tell me how to lose weight. Just tell me what to do. I don't care about all the science. I just want to lose weight. And well, it helps to know at least a little bit of the science uh, so you, you have a good reason for doing what you do and you'll feel confident in it and you'll persist long enough to get the results. So, you know, Dr. McDougall has said the fat you eat is the fat you wear. And the point of all that is the lower the percentage of fat in the food that you eat, the skinnier you will be. And the classic example is look at China before 1970 when they all ate white rice, like about 85 to 95% of their calories. A billion out of a billion are skinny. Look at a Bruce Lee movie, okay? All the extras are skinny. The only person who's fat in a, or a little bit fat in a Bruce Lee movie is Bolo, and he's probably taking anabolic steroids, okay? So a billion out of a billion are fat when they're eating 1% fat. What did uh, Kempner feed Dr. Kempner his patients to lose weight? White rice, okay? Um... Potatoes, regular potatoes and sweet potatoes also have only 1% fat. You know, I had a eureka moment when I was looking up all these calorie uh, percentages from fat. I mean, that's the way to win the game right there. Rice, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. I would say out of all these foods, sweet potatoes are the best food in the entire world because they not only have the lowest percentage of fat at 1% or less, they also have the lowest amount of protein. Rice is about 7 or 8% protein in general, white rice. Potatoes are about 8.5% protein. Some people say different things about white rice, like Frank Nealon claimed that the rice they were feeding the, the Kempner patients was about 5%. When I, but when I would look it up, I kept finding 7 to 8%, so it's somewhere in there. Um, anyway, sweet potatoes have the lowest amount of uh, protein, 4.5% protein. You want to lower your protein as much as possible. The population in Papua New Guinea would eat 93% of their calories from sweet potatoes, and they were remarkably fit and skinny dis and strong, despite the fact they were uh, smoking like chimneys, okay? Um, for a little bit of variety, you can throw in beans, and I would recommend lentils are like the lowest fat bean at around 3%. And these will be your starches. So here's four starches, rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, lentils for variety, okay? So here's how you could do an OMAD diet for two months. OMAD means one meal a day diet. And just do this for two months. The reason I say two months is, you know, even if you did it for one month, you get results. But in two months, the results will be even more obvious. But if you just do this for two months, I think you'll see dramatic uh, results if you're trying to lose weight. And once you get that success, you'll probably be happier, okay? And uh, Dean Ornish used to have a good quote. He'd say, it's better to make a big change than a small change because a big change gives you a big result and then you see the benefit of it versus if you only make a small change, you might not see the result. It'll be too small to detect and then you won't get the motivation to continue. Okay, so anyways, here's how you do it. Start the meal with some veggies, you know, have a quick salad at the beginning of the meal, for example. Then eat your low-fat starches, any combination of the above. Beans go good with everything. They're great. Well, actually, they go great with rice, and they go great with regular potatoes. So sweet potatoes, usually you're going to eat those by themselves. Um, I just boil all this stuff. Rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, lentils. Just boil it. It's, it's easy to make. Um, 
So you can eat any combination of these starches that you want. You can vary the starches for variety. By the way, just so you know, people have been able to eat only regular potatoes for six months and nothing else but water and be pretty healthy. So this is a very reasonable amount of variety. Um, I, I've eaten this way for years. This is kind of an example of the Spartan vegan diet, which I eat. You know, Spartan in terms of being sparse. Spartan also for, you know, as a former wrestler, kind of a... It's a, like a bit of a, a warrior, tough guy diet. It's all it takes to be strong, fit, and healthy and keep your life simple. Okay, then one bag of frozen fruit for dessert or some equivalent amount of some other fruit. You want to avoid this stuff right here. And that's why I think frozen fruit's less likely to have it. Um, you know, if you grow your own fruit, if you have a local farmer, local uh, market, it's not exactly clear what this stuff is in yet, so but you want to avoid that. That's I have several previous lectures on that. Um, if you are on any medications, <clears throat> especially for hypertension or diabetes, or even if you're on anticoagulation, let your doctor know first so you can titrate these medications. It's it's routine when persons go low-fat vegan um, that they dramatically reduce and sometimes come off entirely medications for hypertension and diabetes. Um, and some anticoagulation medicines like Coumadin, for example, it might require a change in your dosage when you change your diet. But anyways, if you do this, you'll have dramatically dropped the percentage of your calories from fat, and your hunger should be well satisfied by all the starches. I eat like this every day uh, for a long time, many, many years. Um, and I think you'll feel healthier and more energetic. Most likely, can't guarantee that, but I can tell you for most people, that's what'll probably happen. So anyways, um, Hope that's helpful.